Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Nate Moore. This is Excel Video 131. What I want to do today is talk about if I've got a dashboard here, and this is what I want to start adding my charts to, uh, I want to show you two different ways to do it and some pros and cons of each. Typically what you'll do is if you've got a pie of, let's do this pie of pie chart. What you can do is I want to highlight this chart and then if I go over here to the design tab and do move chart, I can move chart and set it as an object in Pi of Pi or as a new sheet. I'm going to put it as an object but in my sheet called dashboard. And if I do that, what I can do is I can move. Now I'm on the dashboard chart. I can scroll this and drag it someplace over here. I didn't have the chart when I dragged. Drag this over here someplace yeah, like that. And I can uh, put the chart that I was working on on a dashboard. And this is kind of a, a difficult example because there's so much information. But I could say, hey, you know, it's too big or too small or whatever, and you can size it. The other way to get information onto this dashboard is I can use the camera tool in Excel. It's buried uh, in Excel 2007, Excel 2010. Let me show you how to get it. See this drop down arrow here? We're going to do more commands. And when this comes up, what I'm going to do is choose all commands and they're listed alphabetically so I'm going to scroll down until I see the camera tool and add it and then uh, I'll drag this up so you can see part of it and we'll click OK then what I can do is I can go over here to let's do the cell oh, I lost my pie of pie because I copied it we'll do explode instead we'll do this chart right here and what I want to do is I'm going to go from about here and I'm going to go all the way over to here and get someplace close. You know, I really don't want that. Let's see if I can do this instead. Yeah, that's better. And then what I can do is when I've got cells, I can take a, uh, a picture of it. I come over to the dashboard. If we put it about right there and paste, that's way too big. So I'm going to come over here. We'll do this. Shrink it down a fair amount just for the sake of argument and pull it over here. The difference between getting a copy of the or moving the chart over here and getting a copy of this camera idea here is this is a picture. So if you if you click here, I've got chart tools. If you click here, I've got picture tools I can format. I could crop that edge like that. I mean it's a it is a picture now. So the I, there's some different formatting things I can do with it, but the point I want to show you is watch what happens if this we're starting to get new patients thing changes. If I go over here, this is the new patient slice right here, and if I make this 575 and hit return, now <laughs> it's, it's out of control. But my point is this, when we come back over here to the dashboard, I've still got it over here even though I took a picture of it. And that's the beauty of the camera tool is watch how if I change the pi of pi number and let's make doctor, let's see who's somebody big. Taylor's going to be in the big chart. If we do instead of 197, we'll do 697 and we come over here. Now I've got Dr. Taylor huge and I've got this as well. So there's two different approaches to getting information in the dashboard. Notice if you do it the copy of the chart way, that's exactly what you've got. You've got the chart here and the, the data is linked. The data is linked here as well. But if I want to change this, the formatting, I've got to come over here to do it and say, all right, let's do, um, let's do format and let's just pick this shape fill and let's make this bright yellow. And then if I come over here to the dashboard, that's how I'm format. Whereas if I want to come over here and I want to make this slice bright yellow, I'm doing it live inside the chart. I wanted you to see both options. This is move chart. This is the camera tool. Both of them are useful. There's places you may want to use both, but I wanted to see how to get it into the toolbar, how to use it, and how to make it work. Hope that was helpful for you. Thanks for watching.